All right, lunch jumps. You're right, Scott. I didn't see him moving. Yeah, hold on. I'm still working. Right. Burpees. Shuffles, folks. We're gonna do the 20 sprawl. I'm working on it. Lateral leaps. <laughs> Only 20 seconds. Sit out. Climbers. Lateral hurdles. Jones. 
And this just seemed to last forever. Push ups. Squat jumps. I need running. One down. Lunch jumps. Lateral shuffles. Burpees. Oh, is it burpees? <laughs> oh, yeah, shoot. All right, now it's lateral shuffles. Lateral shuffles.
Sit out. Mountain climbers. Lateral hurdles. Star jumps. I might forget how to do jumping jacks doing these so many now. Push ups. Squat jumps. Honey running. Froggies. One more round. Bunch jumps. predicted that one too soon strides
time. Burpees. Go. Time. Lateral shuffles. Josh, let's get 10. Yeah. Sprawl. 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 Woo. We did it. Yeah. yeah. Sit out. Mountain climbers. Lateral hurdles. Jumps. Push ups. Squad jumps.
I was trying to keep up with you, Talia. <laughs> I need running. Last one, guys, froggies. Squish, sweaty head up in there. Are right, you guys ready? <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> All right. That's going to be the screenshot. So, uh, I guess every time it's going to ask you, how'd that feel? How'd that feel? Um, yeah. not Doable? Like, you had it? You had power? You had energy? Them sprawls are rough. I don't know. Hey, man, you're the master. You got to be better than all of us. If you're going to, you know, you're Mr. Sprawl, Josh. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing. Yeah, yeah we man. made 10, so I didn't expect us to make 10, so that was cool. Hey, from now on, we can't do nothing less. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, you, you okay, Steph? <laughs> hey, also, I saw uh, your the sweaty selfie you guys posted in the page. Mm -hmm. you, guys, you guys have the greatest pictures. You know what? Awesome. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. Uh, hey, also, uh, Saturdays at 7. I don't know if you guys get up that early, but um, I'm going to be doing a core class just on core at 7 o'clock on Saturdays. You know, eventually, yeah, I mean, one, like, eventually once that starts getting popular, we'll start, uh, I'll start filming from the school and having classes, you know? So I'll still be doing all this, but there might be some people out there behind the camera who are doing it too. Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe, maybe you guys will be one of them people behind the camera. You know, uh, and this is like, look, this is like, um, you know, later on down the road when, you know, things are starting to open up and, uh, you know, we got big plans for how we're handling that. Everybody is, honestly, uh, you know, what the class sizes are going to be, how we facilitate people into the class, um, wearing masks, you know, all that stuff, you know. So we're working hard on that, Junior and I, every day. Uh but uh, I tell you what, um, when you start getting in shape like this, people start looking like they're in slow motion around you. They start looking at like people like, you know what? Uh, you just, you're not fast enough for me. You know, like, you'll, you'll see what I'm saying. And, and when you're in a martial arts environment and you're, you're gonna start hunting for people who aren't in shape. Like for instance, when you start rolling again, uh, nobody's going to be in the shape that you're in. No, nobody is going to be in that kind of shape. So what you do is you use it like a weapon. And um, so what you can do with it is you can increase the pace. Like instead of just playing guard and hanging out and looking for something quick and snappy, you can actually try to like hustle, like, like push and add pressure uh, and keep the, the game going and moving, just staying active and tire people out like that as if it's a weapon. And it is a weapon. If you're doing stand-up, oh my gosh, it's even better because they can't really slow you down, right? You're popping jabs, you're throwing punches, you're moving, bobbing, weaving, you know, like going for takedowns, you know, just like moving, moving, hustling. And like, if they just don't have that, they, man, they are standing still. And so, 
you guys are martial artists. Not everybody else that's on this advanced class are martial artists. So I'm giving you the martial arts perspective. It will be like that. And one day you're going to come up to me and be like, Gary, holy crap. You're right. <laughs> and, and this is the last thing I want to add. Uh, you might not even have as much skill as the person you're fighting. But if they don't, if their endurance isn't there and you keep putting on the pressure and you tire them out, they can be yours. <laughs> they can be yours. You can beat people that you normally don't beat just by out hustling them. Wait and see, okay? I also, I believe you. Yeah. I also want the skills too, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the skills. You, you know, like, there are two things, right? Um, Skill and endurance. You got you got to have both of them, right? If you had to pick one, you got to pick the skill because being out of skill, what the hell? You know what I mean? Uh, you know what? But endurance uh, was always an emphasis that was put on me by all of my professors, always, especially if you go into competition, because when you go into competition, the excitement, the nerves, the adrenaline, the psychological pressure makes you extra tired. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're putting in more energy than you realize. And uh, so is your opponent. So like, you know, you're, you go in prepared. That is a tremendous advantage. I mean, a tremendous advantage. I can't wait for you guys to experience that and see it for yourself. And don't forget, like we're peaking or we're going to peak in about three weeks. That's going to be probably the point in your life. You're never going to be, a, well, no. I will say anything you've done up until that point, you've never been in that kind of shape before. You're, you're going to be at the top of your game in three weeks. And then we take a break, like a, a week break. Uh, when things start to open up, don't get lazy at that point. Don't drop it. Don't like uh, fall off. We got to stay on it. You, you know, you've worked hard, you know, 12 weeks. You've invested 12 weeks. You don't want to like lose that. You know what I'm saying? And you can lose it. Normally, what you do, you lose three times as fast as you gain. That's kind of like the rule. So uh, I don't know if you've ever heard that before, but uh, it, it means that if you uh, 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 take a week off, it's like you lose three weeks. If you take a month off, it's like you lose three months. It's and, and that would be everything. That'd be all your gains. You took a month off, you lose it all. So don't do that. All right. Thanks, yeah. guys. Thank you. Yep, I'll see you. Bye, Kitty. Talk to Leah. <laughs> see you, Leah. See ya. All right.